This video illustrates the use of SpectraVision and Tools SV in a typical workflow for the approval of a print and a trim component in a garment. Turn the instrument on by pressing the power button in the lower right hand side of the unit. This instrument has a similar sample arm attachment as our 800 spectrophotometers. This can be pulled back to view the aperture plate and correctly position the sample. The aperture plate is a square 25.5 mm illuminated and 23 mm viewed. The aperture plate can be removed but do not touch the inside of the plate. Place the plate back on the unit. Now take your sample and determine which is the face side of the fabric. Place the area you would like to measure on the sample arm. The fabric should be flat and with prints use a single layer. The placement can be viewed prior to starting measurements by pulling back the entire aperture plate for review. The fabric is well placed and ready for measurements. Bring the plate back up to close and proceed with the measurements. Once the fabric is in place, select Batch Instrument to begin measuring your collection. Collections are groups of standards in print colorways or seasonal palettes. The standards in a collection will typically be current standards from the customer's library obtained as a QTX and measured with data color 600 and 800 instruments. SpectraVision measurements are backward compatible with data color high-end benchtop spectrophotometers. To create a collection, go to the Manage Collections icon on the toolbar and select New. Type in the name of your master collection. The system supports multiple levels of collections. In the example we have created one master collection, Diamonds Print, and two sub-collections Diamonds print top and bottom for girls' PJs. Once the sub-collections have been created, the user can add standards. Press the Add Standard button and use the browser to add the standards for each of the sub-collections. After the standards have been added, click on the Diamonds Print Master Collection and press the Retrieve button. The Diamonds Print Master Collection and Sub Collection are now on the desktop. We will now proceed to measure the print sample. Click on the Diamonds Print Top Sub Collection. Place the sample on the instrument and press the Batch Instrument button to initiate the measurement. The system first shows the sample view dialog. This view allows users to correctly position the sample on the instrument's aperture. When ready, press OK. The instrument will capture the image of the sample by taking a total of 31 pictures across the visible spectrum and will generate a reflectance curve per color. The progress of the measurement is shown on the screen. When finished, a rendering of the captured image will be shown on the color separation dialog. Since we initially provided the standards in the collection, the system automatically identifies and separates all of the colors available in the print that match the colors of the standards. The names of the colors are automatically assigned based on the name of the standard and a suffix that can be defined in the batch default section of the program. The user can choose to include the collection name as a prefix in the name as well. When needed, the user will adjust the border slider to achieve an optimal separation. When ready, press Done. The system automatically prompts the user for the round number. This parameter is used to track the submit number and to trigger the creation of the approved collection, which we will discuss later in this video. The data from the measured submits goes to the tool's desktop. Each separated color is associated to the correct standard.
the user can evaluate color metric data numerically and graphically. When the monitor is calibrated, the user can perform on-screen evaluations using the color patch. Let's now measure the same print and use manual separation this time. The user will again press the batch instrument button and follow the previous steps. In the color separation dialog, the user will switch the mode from automatic to manual to start the color selection. Multiple tools are available and its use will vary depending of the size of the area of color, material type, blended or transition colors, etc. In this example, we will drag and select each color in the order listed in the name boxes. Notice the number in percent shown in the box right next to the name. This represents the amount and percentage of each color in the captured view and will vary depending on the border selection. Additional color selection tools like zoom in and pan for smaller areas of color pixel size or remove small details are also available. For more information, refer to the documentation included in the Tools SV DVD. When satisfied with the color separation results, the user will press Done to send the data to the Tools desktop. The system will again prompt for the round number. The user can choose to disable the round number or add additional rounds in the Batch Defaults section. Create Approved Collection allows users to evaluate additional submissions against the approved samples, strike off or bulk. The user will first choose the approved round number from the approved round drop-down list in the collection section. Then she or he will press the Create Approved button on the tools bar. A new approved collection is now available on the desktop. Notice that all previous submitted data is deactivated or hidden to help users focus on the task at hand. The user can now proceed to measure the bulk samples or trims if applicable. In the video, we have measured a zipper that is a component of the same garment as the diamond's print. Trims can be measured against samples at any stage of the process, standards, approved strike off, or approved bulk. Create Review procedure allows users to review specific batches in one or multiple collections together for evaluation. Use the Review Batch drop-down list and choose Yes for the samples that you wish to review. In the example, we will do this for the orange and yellow only. Press the Create Review button from the toolbar. A new sample review collection has been added to the master collection with only the yellow and orange. The user can proceed measuring trims or retrieve other submissions from different collections for additional evaluations. The template available in Tools SV offers user-defined fields for collections, standard and batches. These can be used to record colorist comments, submission dates, approval decisions, and others. After the comments have been added to the user-defined fields, the user is ready to share the submit data. A new format called QTX2 is available to exchange collection information, color metric, and image data across the supply chain. Press Export Desktop and type in the name of the submit. For additional data analysis of all the collection and color metric data can also be exported to Excel. Right-click on the standard pane and choose Export All with the User-Defined Fields option.